I think if you go straight to cash, you're basically betting on a Trump win. Uh, there's every reason to believe that if, in fact, Hillary Clinton pulls through, despite all the recent scandals, uh, that it's going to be positive for the markets. I think that's what you're starting to see in Asia. So I don't think a binary choice really makes a lot of sense. I think instead, as I heard uh, mentioned previously, that you position your strategy, uh, yes, more defensive, but you position your strategy towards the assets you think will do well long term. Okay. And which are, which are they, Michael? So I think what you need to do is you need to focus on having, first of all, dividend-paying assets in your portfolio strategy. I think dividends are going to be increasingly important, particularly in a slower growth economy, with I, which I expect that's to be the case over the course uh, of the next several years. I also think particular sectors still hold opportunity. I think media companies um, are certainly ripe for um, uh, appreciation. If you look at what's happened with Time Warner in terms of the uh, potential merger uh, that Time Warner is um, uh, engaged in in terms of um, really becoming a, a content provider a platform for its acquirer. I think a company like Disney, for example, has tremendous amounts of content I think is going to be uh, an opportunity, particularly how much that stock has underperformed. On the healthcare side, if you're betting on a Clinton win, in all likelihood that's positive for healthcare companies, although uh, I would be cautious on pharmaceuticals. Um, there's a tremendous drumbeat right now for pharmaceutical companies uh, to fall under price controls, and I think that is a negative uh, potentially for pharmaceutical companies' earnings.